I'm a firm believer in attacking the problems in a recording first. A consistent problem that is a byproduct of the recording process is noise. In a professional environment, it's certainly not noise from cheap equipment or misuse, which usually is the main cause in a semi-pro environment. But instead, it's my choice to use six analog British EQs and two channels from the Manly Slam, which is tube-driven. This is the cause for the noise floor that I developed when I recorded. But Z-Noise makes using those EQs and mic pre's well worth it. Let's take a look into the interface and become familiar with its controls. The two fundamental noise reduction controls are Threshold and Reduction. The threshold settings are from minus 20 to plus 50 dB. The fault is zero. This is a reference gain setting as compared to the noise profile. The signal below the noise profile is cleaned, while the signal above the profile is ignored or minimally processed. Reduction. Well, reduction settings are zero to 100%. And default is 0%. Reduction determines the amount of noise reduction applied to the signal below the threshold. The higher the setting, well, the greater the noise reduction. Dynamic controls like attack, release, transients, and knee play a major role in how it behaves. Attack is the time it takes for attenuation to stop or for the gain to rise. Noise reduction is smoothly decreased to avoid pops and clicks from abrupt processing changes. Release. Well, release sets the time it will take for noise reduction or gain attenuation to occur or to reach the target reduction value. The transient control is a unique feature of Z-Noise, which preserves transients by enhancing them before the noise reduction process takes place. This enables you to increase threshold without compromising transients. The knee control adjusts the sharpness of the gain reduction curve below the noise profile. With a hard knee setting, the dynamics will activate when energy passes the threshold. With softer knee settings, dynamics will begin to activate as energy approaches the threshold. The noise profile EQ section lets you manipulate the noise profile using a five band paragraphic equalizer. This allows you to control the amount of noise reduction in different frequency ranges. The Profile EQ allows you to change the frequency characteristics of your noise profile. The five bands of EQ control, as indicated by five numbered square markers on the noise profile plot, are always visible and accessible from the Z noise graph in the analyzer window. Each of the bands offers the following controls. You can either turn the band on or off, it's default on on. You can choose the band type, low shelf, notch, bell, or high shelf. You can set the frequency of each of the five bands of the noise profile EQ between 10 hertz and 20,000 hertz. The gain settings are minus 30 decibels to plus 30 decibels. Gain controls the attenuation or boost applied to the noise profile frequencies. Increasing a frequency's gain raises the threshold for that frequency, causing the algorithm to reduce more noise in that spectrum. Decreasing gain lowers the threshold for that frequency, resulting in less noise reduction in that specific frequency range. The Q settings set the Q or bandwidth of the frequency to be reduced or boosted. A higher Q results in a narrower filter, while a lower Q yields a wider, gentler filter. Z-Noise also allows you to choose between higher frequency resolution or a higher time resolution, or a compromise between the two to best suit your program material. Optimize. The settings are punch, norm, smooth. The fault is normal. Optimize allows you to choose between higher frequency or time resolution. Smooth sets the highest frequency resolution. Punch sets the best time resolution and is recommended for materials that have significant attacks and transients, such as percussive sounds or plucked strings. In this case, the piano recordings are best noise reduced when optimized for better punch. Norm offers a nice compromise in many situations. Better transients than smooth and better frequency resolution than in punch. The noise profile is a fingerprint of the noise. 
It is an essential element of effective noise reduction. And this is what enables Znoise to classify audio as noise or signal in a specific recording. Znoise offers three ways to profile noise. You can choose Learn, which best results are obtained when noise is static and you can take a, a pure noise segment from your audio source and allow Znoise to learn it. The Learn function then analyzes the noise and then will deduct it from the music. Extract. If your program material doesn't have a section with pure background noise, find a section that is mostly noise and then use extract in the same way that you would use learn. Adaptive. When you choose learn or extract mode, we're assuming that the noise is in a steady state. If the noise changes over time, then the adaptive mode is the best mode to choose. The output monitor control is a real powerful tool because it allows you to hear the audio that is the audio after the noise is processing, or the difference, which is the noise being removed with the selected settings. In a healthy noise reduction process, the green output signal line will generally fall below the red input signal line. However, peaks may overlap the red and green lines. The noise reduction meter shows the energy of the noise being removed. The meter indicates what's being removed from the audio signal.